So we're still working on the Bell Killer case even though he hasn't he's been reassigned. Oh. Why? Like why would Baxter give a shit? I mean, in Baxter's eyes the killer did him a favor and got rid of Ronan. Oh, there's another. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, that's Baxter. Well, Baxter tried to threaten me. Baxter thought he could blackmail me with my past, if, as if my past hasn't already done all the damage it could do. The I'd say the most bizarre thing is the fact they allowed him to join. Oh, oh yeah, give me that gun. I need four more. Fucking hell. It's just things I can hide in. The fact there's so many hiding spots just tells me that there are going to be demons here. But my question is, why are they chasing... Ronan? Ooh. A Grace... Oh, A. Grace personal info. And Grace, no legal middle name, female, 22 years old, no immediate family, pu publicly went by the name of Madam Agatha, a novelty fortune teller. Okay. Reveal! I want! It's uh, now I just need three more. I should probably look around just to make sure there ain't anything else hidden. It's really hard to tell though because you've got the orange light for anything you can poltergeist. Can we go in here? <gasps> what? Oh wow. More stuff. Hold up. Yeah! Visit to the station. He used to go visit Rex down at the station, but it's been years. So when I went with Ronan today, it was like seeing the place in a whole new light. I was struck by a room they've got dedicated to the Bell Killer case. Everything they know, or even guess might be related, it's in that room. The strange energy of the people coming in and out of that room, you'd think there was some religious observance going on in there. I've never seen anything like it. Huh. This is some more stuff about the killer. Kay Douglas, personal info. Karen Marie Douglas, female 37 years of age, accountant, unmarried, no criminal record, no violent relationship, socially known for Wednesday night Ouija board parties. Huh. What the heck? Collect. There we go. K Douglas. Virtually no evidence at the scene of foul play, except bell symbol, no prints, no DNA, no immediate suspects. Wow, they really do not have anything. Rex. Huh. Rex's gratitude. Hi Alice. How are you doing? Rex is grateful to Ronan for helping Julia through her mental illness. Oh. Oh, that's sweet. Hi. Okay, hi. Hello, lady. Go away, please. Yeah. Don't like the fact to see the spirit. Do more. Need more guns. More of Julia's thoughts. God. Ronan gets his badge. You're annoyed. Why? What's happened? And I'm good. Thanks. Big day I never thought this would happen. Between Ronan actually going through with this and Rex pulling off the paperwork and managing Ronan's past, so much could go wrong, but it happened, and my man has a badge now. Looks good on him, and he loves it. I think his swagger just got even bigger. God, I love a guy in uniform. I mean, look at us. We look pretty slick. Rona's trouble with the law. I always knew there had been trouble, but I didn't know his official arrest record was that extensive. Much worse than I thought, felony after felony, going back to childhood. It's like his life is already ruined. How can I join my life with his? Bought a banana and it's all back black inside. Don't buy shit that's out of date then. You never learn. Or I'll buy another banana. There's another. There's one more that I need to find. The stalwart spectre. More of these! Plain clothes, cop! It was quite a trick Rex pulled, advancing Ronan to detective without making him spend much time as a beat cop. He convinced the captain and the commissioner that Ronan's street smarts would make him the most efficient, effective even, as a plain clothed cop. Ronan was very relieved. I'll bet. Became a detective without even needing to be a cop. Pretty sweet. Oh. Okay. Map of killings. 
We are exploring the possibility of a connection between the deaths listed on the map. Do not make public comment on the connection until officially authorized. Hmm. It looked good though. Yeah, well appearances can be deceiving. As you have now learned. You just don't have much luck when it comes to food. Okay, that just leads to this room. I want to find the other gun. I want to find out about the, the Seraph Spectre thing. What is this? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, Cassandra. Right. Hmm. Killer's motives. A pattern of behavior in the killer's motives that the police are not seeing is the focus of Joy's mother. She's having trouble convincing them to take it seriously. Huh. Whose office is this? Baxter's? It's a mess. One hell of a mess. What's in here? Nothing. Where is the final gun? Whoa. Hold up. Oh. I saw the photocopy and thought it was something I could reveal. Ah, uh, dear. Well, I think I've got everything so far. Where the heck are the stairs, though? Ugh. I'm actually confused. I don't know where I'm at. And hey, it just cost... Oh, it's just cost two. I thought it was just cost three. Okay. Oh, they're the stairs. Oh, I can't go through that. Nope. Well, shit. I gotta go a different way down. I suppose. Right. Yeah, okay. I got very confused as to where I was going. Maybe going to the holding cell now? That could be where the last gun is. There was something I could reveal. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, there was something I could reveal. I'm just not sure if it was a gun or something else. As long as it doesn't advance the story until I'm in the same room as her, I don't mind. Mate, holding cell. No, that is the gun. Oh. There she is. Oh, there's more. Yay, we did get the gun. Boom. For you, the story. And let's recall the flashback. I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded, and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. <coughs> Finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. Hmm. And when we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big and modern the place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a modern world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. One officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. Also, the late night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. When she spun around, it was gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. 
Hell, I didn't either. Until I saw it with my own eyes. I was working late and got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. It was staring right at me. He lifted an old, ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a spider web of cracked glass and I, I took off running. The captain didn't believe me. Ed docked my next paycheck to replace the glass. Hmm. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since or if the specter still roams the halls. I always tell them the same thing. I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. <laughs> I will admit, when I first heard... Oh, not really. First heard. But when I heard people mention that, you know, if there's a ghost in a room, it gets incredibly cold. That was probably the worst thing uh, Kid Me was ever told. Because there was a lot of nights where I would stay up really late, and I mean like, till 3, 4 a.m., just playing RuneScape on, um, I think it was my dad's laptop at the time. But every so often, it would get like, incredibly cold in the room. And the worst part was, the laptop I was using had a reflective screen, so whenever that happened I just didn't really focus on the screen much, because I also heard that ghosts can show up in reflections. And yeah, it, it just kind of messed me up a little bit. <laughs> See Nelson. Claire and Nelson. Female, 20 years old, student. That's literally all they have. Oh, there we go. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're going to be here for a while. Uh. Fuck! Alright, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Baxter. Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. Alright. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. No. Find the witness in the holding cell. Free the witness. No, wait. I forgot I could do that. <laughs> Oh god, the way that looked. No, oh, don't say I have to actually, like, guide her. That's why there's so many poltergeist things. I would guess. We're just going around, like, possessing everything. They're talking, 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 talking. Right, okay. Uh, I can talk. Oh. Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. He's the cave. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low, or they'll see you. Track the cops to usher her. That does not work. Can I do it with this? Yes, I can. How can they not see her? Keep going. Move. Go, go, go! Don't know where she's gonna stop. They, she would definitely have been spotted. What am I distracting? That cop. 
What with this? Not to distract them, if anything. Can't distract him with them. Wait, what could I distract this guy with? Oh, that. He would definitely see it. All right, let's go. What the? F she almost ran into him. Oh, I can't follow her. No, because of that. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. Oh God! Lag. Oh, I got us this far, didn't I? Got yourself killed, Mr. Oh, it hurts. Hey, kid. These things. Uh, I I can't get across. There. You're gonna have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? I'm a ghost, not a plane. All right. And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Okay, get to the second floor. Any of my thoughts. Or, or think anything creepy. If this doesn't make us even. Oh. I thought I was actually gonna be able to control her. Why did it? Why did I do this? Get out. I don't get it. I could have just run up here. More cops. I got this. Great, distract them both. You got it. Distraction number one. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. But stay low. Go, go, go! Oh. Are we good? I need to talk to her again. Really? So much talking. That was close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. Let's go find her again. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I've gotten everything that there is in here, so... I don't really need to stick around. Whoosh! Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh, the desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? Has he been keeping files? Uh, oh! Oh yeah. So what is making those sounds? Mugshot! Obviously. My mugshot! I thought Rex suppressed this. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. That's why Baxter hates him then. You never use that blackmail file against me. Oh. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure the book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. I just need to figure this out. Need to find the witnesses. Wait. New clue. Rex prevented Max from blackmailing me and using my criminal record against me. R record. Okay. New message. Someone left a message on Baxter's voicemail. Here's a book here. Terrors of 1692. Oh, Salem Disgrace. History buff. Back to been reading about Salem's history. Doesn't seem like something he would care about. Bragging, of course. So what's that? That's what Baxter does in his free time, huh? Ticket out of something. Baxter's ticket? Why would Baxter leave town? Oh, out of town. I've only got five clues. Oh, 
Oh, hang on. I never thought about these. Promotion commendation. This promotion. Manny was so proud of making detective. Oh, uh, okay. Probably why he, he was probably jealous of. What is it? Serve and protect. Max graduated from the acad academy two years before I did. Seven clues. What else does he have on the on the walls? A gun. He has a shotgun. Just on his wall. What the hell? Hey, can you check that voicemail message? Okay. I need a weave shop. Oh no, I don't. Was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good. Baxter hit the book. Baxter probably hit the book somewhere in his office because Rex was still looking for it. But where? Not here. Oh, hang on. Oh, what caused that mark on the wall? Whoa. Wait, what's this? I'm not entirely sure. A mark on the wall. Shadow. Writing. Drawn. Okay. Matches gun wreck. I guess. Ah, oh, it doesn't match body outline. Okay. Stain. As opposed to writing or a shadow. Imprint. It, wait, I guess it is an imprint. Wait, has he moved the... Did he move his gun rack? The gun rack actually opens on hinges, like it's covering a secret compartment or area. Hidden lever. Oops. A latch. A strange latch secures the gun rack on one side. That's not normal. Yeah, I'll tell her. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, hey! Oh, please tell me you understand where all these symbols are. Yes. Some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Oh, t crap. Uh-oh. What is that? Mysterious gallows. The museum. How strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. Uh oh. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go. Gala invitation. Salem History Museum gala flyer. Why would this be in her mother's book? Oh. Really? Go! Have we got it? Or is there another? I have no idea. Whatever. I'm surprised there's not been any demons, to be honest. Wait, what? She's hiding from... Oh, those, maybe. Nope. I'm not entirely sure what she's hiding from. Oh, there's a flyer. A uh, flyer. Photocopier here. Will that get them? No. 
Oh, do I need to talk to her? Yep. Fuck's sake. Hold up, hold up. I need to make sure the coast is clear. Rex. Who's that? Cop, you need to avoid. All right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, but wait for my signal. Hey, LT, hold up. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Sweeping the building. Well, is she related to Udini? Those doors locked from the outside. <laughs> yeah, I'll check after we catch her. Hey, uh, you know, okay, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, Rowan, he was, uh, he was top notch. He, he wore his badge with honor. I hate him when people lie to me. I'm not lying. It's one of, it's one of the reasons I tramp on his grave. He wore the badge because he thought it was intimidating, right? He thought it would make our father crap he did when he was younger, and make it right or better. Or Prove to the guys around here that he wasn't the guy they thought he was. You know what? I heard the rumor, Sarge. I know a lot of the guys thought he lived his life on the wrong side of the prison. No, 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 it's, not Sarge, everyone it's okay. Look, no. I understand. But at least he was honest, huh? He would look you in the eyes and he would tell you exactly what he thought, right? I'm here to tell you that sort of bravery is a rare thing these days. I mean, you have much to be proud of. At least he didn't try to hide who he was. I saw his head. What did I just say about lying to me? Ooh. Damn. Rob, what is this place? The all killer war room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so. See hey, ya. You keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself killed. How would I just leave it as. Oh, you won. Crap. We have to find her again! Ah oh, man. Well, we helped her escape. Chase the witness outside. I'm assuming I use the regular door. Yeah! We know she's gone to the, to the museum, so... Oh, there she is. Hey, you can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? Make a help. Oh. Not her scream. The identity. Destination. Uh, his mother. Her mother. Missing, probably. I don't know. Mm. Witness his mother's note. Oh, yeah. Implied the witness should get her Bell Killer case book from the station. That's right, yeah. I'd forgotten about that. Truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world, and you need a detective. The last case. Ashland Hill Cemetery. They can't see it, but it's there. What? I, I don't know. I, gu I guess... My mom thought there was a case that was linked to the bell killer. The cops didn't. Okay, we go there next. Ashland Hills. We? No, we? Come on, we need each other. You need me a lot more than I need you. Either way, partners. Fine. For now. Now is all I worry about. Ronan. My name is Ronan O'Connor. Eh. I'm... Joy. Seriously? And Ronin is better? Why don't your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? So we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. 
Uh, I I have to do something, so I'll, uh, I'll just meet uh, you there. Uh, 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 no, 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 I'm not letting you ditch you me again. You follow me, the deal is off. If it was meant to be, I'll see you there. If not, I won't. Uh, you better show up to that cemetery. What the? Kid. Oh, it's the girl. You're the only living person I have left. Okay. That little girl's interesting. Partnership. Joy needs my help to find a missing mother, and she can help me track down the bell killer. Yeah! Nice. Get to Ashland Hill Cemetery. Okay. Oh! Hang on. Was this always here? 